There we go. Okay. So anyway, I know in my classroom, we had a chart up all the time of about 30 different blessings. And whenever something came up, we would say the blessing on the chart. So it was, it became very meaningful to the children. And I hope it's something they carried on. So I know when the last time I went to Israel, the guide that we went with said a blessing whenever there was an occasion. And it just, it just sets a tone all the time that was beautiful. It made it everything more meaningful. So here are all the words that are in the uh, beginning of every blessing. Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech HaOlam. So if we look up here in the first word, here are three words. Adonai, of course, is the two, two yuds together. And the word for sovereign is ever anyone? Melech. 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 And the world. Ha'olam. Our God. Elohe Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Remember, whenever you see an U on the end of a word, it means our. It's a suffix mm -hmm. for our. Mm -hmm. And blessed or praise is Arach. right? And you. Ata. 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 Right? Okie dokie. Um, okay, so this is like an important thing to know. Hebrew words are built on a system of roots. A root or shoresh consists of three letters from which related nouns, verbs, and adjectives are formed. So every word in Hebrew has a shoresh in it. That means three letters that are the root and all of the prefixes and suffixes and different vowels that you add to that shoresh change the meaning of the word, but it still has that basic root. So any words built on the, the, the bet, the resh, and the chaf have bless as part of their meaning. The following four words share the root baruch, circle the root letters in each word. So levarech means to bless, and there's the three root letters, bab, resh, chaf. Bracha is a blessing which is the bet, the resh, and the chaf. Baruch, which means blessed, has, the, has those three letters in there, that resh and chaf sofi. And brachot are, is plural, blessings. The chaf changes to chaf sofi when, the, when it's the final letter of a word. Baruch is a passive form of the root bet, resh, chaf, which when it forms a noun means ni. Baruch indicates the one who is bowed to by bending the knee. Blessing is a gift of admiration and respect that elevates both giver and receiver. And then we're going on to the word ata that I just. Somebody else want to read the ata? You. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, John. The opening words of a blessing put us face to face with God. Depending on our intent, we may come boldly or intimately or de uh, devotedly before God to state our purpose, to praise or plead or thank or even challenge. And yet somewhere in the midst of this encounter, we retreat a bit, turning our second person the audience ata, right. into a third person reference. Um, Malik. Malik. Malik, <laughs> sovereign. Read the beginning of the blessing formula aloud and notice where this shift happens when referencing God in the second person to the third person. Right. Okay, then they hear uh, the word Malik. Geraldine, you want to keep reading? Malik Ha'olam. Where are we? Okay. Um, see, this is when going from left to right and then right to left gets me right here this is an example okay so, so who first now uh, malik ha, ha olam 
is a name given only to, to God. This phrasing is example of submit to hoot. My favorite thing, Betty. <laughs> um, grammatical form, including the possessive of, in which two nouns combine to create a new term. In this case, case Mal Lake Mal Luke Sovereign uh -huh. and and um, Halom. No, that's right, Halom. Halom, the world or the universe combined to form a name for God. Another example of shoot <laughs> appear. Here's in a blessing over wine or grape juice. Um, okay. Stop me again. Yeah, the fruit of the vine. Here, the fruit of the vine forms a new term that refers specifically to grapes. All right, anybody else want to go? Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of Hebrew in this one. Similarly, similarly, we say the dedication of the house. When we put up a mezuzah and at Purim, we read from the Megillat Esther, the scroll of Esther. Melech literally means sovereign or king. In this case, one who is benevolent as well as powerful. Melech is built on the root mem la chaf. The following four words short, share the root mem la chaf. And here we go. Melech is king. Malche is kings. Hamlachim, right? But kings. And Malchutcha is your king. Ha'ulam is the world, the entire universe, in fact, everything. The blessing suggests that there is nothing that is beyond God's realm or outside God's domain. God is not sometimes, God is not here, but not there. God is always, and God is everywhere. There you go. Here we have a hey in front of each word, and we know hey means the, right? Huh. The world, the grapes, the land, the tree. Good. Okay. And here is Birkat Hamazon, the blessing after meals. And I just want to show you a short. <laughs> Most of us have been taught from childhood not to take the food we consume for granted. Does someone know him? <laughs> yeah, that's Micah Greenstein from Temple Israel in Memphis. Ah, that's ah. Cool. <laughs> he seems like he's very he's a top good. rabbi. Is he's he a top rabbi? Good. Yeah. Oh, he's like eye candy. <laughs> Teaching gratitude is a challenge these days. Ask children where chickens come from, and they'll probably say Chick fil A. It's very hard <laughs> to stop and pause in today's hectic world and give thanks for the food we're about to eat. But we know about the grace before meals. In most traditions, blessing is said before we eat. What's unique in Judaism is we also thank God for the food we've eaten after we eat, not just before. And that's the name of this next prayer, the Birkat Hamazon, the blessing after meals. There's a lot of Hebrew, uh, but oh, it's important to know you never have to memorize prayers in Judaism. You can always and should always use a text, even if you know it by heart as I do. I'm going to begin by singing what we do on Friday night, which is Psalm 126. Vahagoin, he deal a donai, la a soti mele, he deal a donai, la a soti mahanu, 
That's Psalm 126. That's only on Friday night. And it means when God brought us back to Israel, it was like a dream. And now the leader recites, and the group responds, Yehi shem Adonai mevorach me'atave adolam. And then the leader continues. Yehi shem Adonai mevorach me'atave adolam. Birshut chaverai. Nevarech Eloheinu she'achanu mishelo. And then the group responds. Baruch Eloheinu she'achanu mishelo. Uvtu vochainu. And then the leader says, Baruch Eloheinu she'achanu mishelo uvtu vochainu. And then the group finally says, Baruch hu uvaruch shemo. That's so. Well, I, I lost all of you. Okay, so that's the, the introduction to the Birkat Hamazon. Then the full Birkat Hamazon you do when you have time, but usually nowadays in the synagogue after meals, they just do the first paragraph, unless you're having a festive dinner or something, then they'll do the complete Birkat Hamazon. So I just want to, I cut him out because he does the whole thing. And I just wanted to show you the short version, the first paragraph, which I think if you know that, you know it. So let me um, see if I can get back to the other guy. Our little friend over here. Hi there. Let's learn some tefillah. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But when I'm eating anything, I'm so grateful that I have food to fill my belly and to keep me healthy. So after I eat a meal with bread, I always say Berkat Amazon, a grace after meals, thanking God for all the gifts that God gives us. Today, we're going to learn the first paragraph of Berkat Amazon. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam, hazan et ha'olam kulo bituvo, bechen bechesed uvrachamim. Now you try that part. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's keep going. Thank you. Okay. Uno ten lechem lechol basar ki le olam chasto uv tu vo hagado tamid lo chasar la nu vi al yechsar la nu mazon. Le'olam ba'ed. That's kind of a hard part. See if you can try it. I'll wait while you give it a shot. Just pause the video. Cool. Here's the last part of the first paragraph of Birkat Amazon. Ba'avur shemo hagadol ki hu elzan umfarnes lahako. Umetiv la ko, umechin mazon, leho beriotav, asher bara, baruch 
Ata Adonai Hazan et Hakol. That's the whole first paragraph of Birkat Hamazon. I bet you could try it with lots of practice. Keep on working at it. Okay. So if you have Sidur Sim Shalom, it's on page 337. And in Lev Shalom, it's on 87. Sharon? Yeah. Um, the first paragraph of it, I know it says that they're caught on 337, but the actual prayer is on 338. You're correct. Thank you. I messed up. No, that's okay. I just... I looked in the index, so I didn't uh, check the... Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, so you, everyone's right. Cindy's, we're on page 338. On 337 is what we just heard the rabbi do. The first paragraph is on Friday night, Shir Hama'alev, and then all of the um, responses. So I have a question. When do you get to the point where you can actually read and sing at the same time? <laughs> you should be here now, I think. <laughs> No. If they would go slowly, you could, but they're not going to do it slowly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. You don't want to hear me sing anyways, but that's okay. <laughs> I know that. Okay. Wait, so, is it page 87 on Lev Shalom? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Did you find it, Betty? Yeah. You could. So you're looking for the words Baruch Atah Donai Eloheinu Melech Olam, not the where it says Rabbi Tain of Arech. You have that spot. Oh, wait a minute. This it says, it says no. It says it's a short version. It's a sh oh oh the shorter version is ninety four. This is eighty seven. Page eighty eight <laughs> is where eighty eight. Arlen said that in, in Le Chalain. Yeah. Okay, that's why I'm having trouble finding it. Okay, yeah, okay. eighty eight. I'm going to read it, and then you're going to read it. So. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hazan Et HaOlam Kulo Betuvo Bechain Bechesed Uvrachami Hu Notain Lechem Lechol Basar Ki LeOlam Chasto. And, and the third word on that line, Lechem, is bread. That's why we only say it when you have bread at the meal. If you don't have bread at your meal, you do not say Birchat HaMazon. Fourth mm -hmm. line on Uv Tuvo Hagadol Tamid Lo Chasar Lano. The Al Yechsar Lano Mazon Leolam Ba'ed. Ba'avur Shemo Hagadol. Ki hu zan umfarnes la kol umetiv la kol umechin mazon le kol briotav asher bara baruch ata adonai hazan et ha kol. Okay. Line two. That line one and two. Eileen Schwartz. I'll try it. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Hazan Et Halom Ha Olam Ku 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 Um Kulo Kulo uh, bit uh, to bit to vo bit tain bit hang uh, bit he said 
Uvra Hamim. Great. Uvra, was it Uvra Hamim? Should right. I continue or somebody sure. else? Yeah, go ahead, do another one. Okay. Who no tain lehem le call um call ba shar ki le alam ha has has do yeah right okay go ahead um of to vo ha gadol ha mir lo ha sa hasar lanu go back to the third word and that the one. third word uh -huh. um ha ka ga, right. ha ha ga dol no the next word i'm sorry oh. our word must not be the same ha ga dol ha ha mead ta mead oh ta ta thank you ta mead ta mead ta mead means forever ta mead ta mead okay Someone that was else? because i wasn't able to practice this week <laughs> well that's pretty good without practicing <laughs> okay someone else want to read i'll read cindy thank you the all yeah yaks yaksar lanu malzone le alam vaed ba a or shemo hagado ki hu zan um um far nace La la chem la 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 ko ume teeth la la vo la ko la ko I'm sorry I'm getting the bobs in the cold but la ko ume bean mazon la ko bit the re Bari Bario Tav. I'll share. I'll share. Bara. Baruch Ata Adonai Hazam Et Ha Hako. Great. And that's it. Not too hard. I'm going to attempt to sing it and you try and sing it along, okay? And you'll see you can sing as you read. We'll do it slow. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sorry. Hazan Et HaOlam Kulo Betubo Bechain Bechesed Uvrachamim Unotain Lechem Lechol Basar Ki le olam hasto uv tu vo hagato tami lo hasar lano vi al yachsar lano ma zon le olam ba ed ba avur shemo hagato ki huzan um farnes la ko. Ume tiv la ko, ume chin ma zon, le ho brio tav, a sher bara, baruch ata adonai, a zon et a ko. Okay, I saw you all moving along there, so you can do it. And usually, they're cut on the zone, they don't do too fast. So it's a good one. All right. So then I, I gave you the par shot, but I thought before we did that, um, 
it would be nice to look at Hatikva and see how you can read that. So I have that recording and it's nice and big, the words, and I couldn't find it in the Sidur, so you have to look on the screen. I thought it was in the Sidur, but let's see. Now you yeah. felt that. Now you did, right? I wish I could get this banner off again. I haven't I haven't seen most of it. A couple of minutes I get here and there where it pops up. Let's try it again. Yep. Ah. Okay, I'll try it. It's in Sharon. Yeah. If people have, if, if they have uh, Lev Shalim, it's on page 448. Oh, great. 448 and Lev Shalom. I don't know if it's in Seen Shalom, because that's what I have and I looked for it. But... I can't get this banner off of here. Anyone know how to get that off? Oh well. Sorry, we're down there. The banner. Don't worry about the banner. We'll we'll just leave it. See it. Wait a minute. I think. I don't... Huh? No. All right, let's go. Today we will practice singing Hatikva, Israel's national anthem. Kol or baleva pani ma nefesh yehudi homiha ulfa atem yizrach kadima ayin letzion sofiha.
It's hard for me to see. It's very yeah, small, but I'll give it a shot. Okay. Um, ode low, ode low, of da, uh, t, uh, kva, uh, va, tenu, ten, tenu, tenu, ta, um, ha, t, uh, kva, uh, ba, ba, is it bat? Bat. Yeah, bat. Um, sh, note, al, fayim. Al fayim, the dot is the foot, al fayim. Oh, um, le, uh, le, le, uh, yot, am, uh, ha, haf, sh, uh, she, mm -hmm. the R, uh, Senu, Eret, Eretz, E, Yon, the, the, Ru, Shalayim, Shalayim, right? That's as far down as I got. That's, yeah. that's the end. And then you always, and then the last two lines are repeated and you say that. Eretz, si, yon, the, uh, ru, sha, layim. I'm looking forward to Gerilyn singing this for us. <laughs> this is definitely something she's going to do beautifully. I'm sure she will. Gerilyn, tell yeah. us when you're ready to do that. <laughs> Well, Arlene, thank you for the confidence, girlfriend. I'll I have total there. confidence that you are going to I'll be seeing that you're going to be leading us all in uh -oh. Hakika. <laughs> I really feel that beautifully. You have a beautiful voice. Okay. So now, at this week's Parsha, I sent you, I didn't tell you to print it out, but I guess I shouldn't have. We'll see how well we can see it on this screen. Um, Find it. Uh, to stop sharing a second. And do you know the pages in the Sidur? It isn't in the Sidur, it's in a Pumash. I don't know if you have uh, a Pumash because it's fun. Hmm. Well, Israel's national anthem. Sharon, this will be read from the Torah? This is from the Torah, this week's Torah. So it's a different chanting on this than it would be? It would be. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't seem to find it. It's yeah, it's the trope, right? Yeah. So all those little marks are trope marks. So you have to just. Oh, that's the them. one that I said looked like Greek to me when I wrote you back. <laughs> right, right. All right. Can, can everyone see this? No. Uh, then I have to share the screen. Betty, you need to mute yourself too. We see you. There. Okay, so this week's portion is Ra'e. And I, there's these cute little videos on YouTube about that explain every um, Torah portion. So I did, if we have time, we'll look at it because it's very, um, this is the week where Moses gives the Israelites um, directions what they should do when they go to the promised land. So it's Parsha Re'e. And see, here is the first word, Re'e, but that little dot at the top is a truck mark. So wherever you see these little signs, you just have to ignore them. It was, I could not find it. I couldn't find the Parsha without the trope in it. And um, so let's see if I'm going to read a few parts and then we'll have you try and read. Cindy, you have a question? Can you make it any bigger by chance? 
Mm. I don't know how to make this. Bigger. Well, you know what? I'm going to print out the one the one you sent. I have a suggestion. Yeah. I have a suggestion. If you go up to the top of the screen where it says View Options. For me? Next to where it says you are viewing Sharon yeah. Katz. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, click on View Options. Uh -huh. Go down to Zoom. Go down to Zoom Ratio. Okay. And then click on 100%. And hopefully that you'll see it bigger. Try. Oh yeah, you could even do it 150 percent. Well, whatever. But that's where you. Okay, that's where so you. That's awesome. Thank you. I didn't know that. Thank you. Is, it, is I, it on? Is that is that on a um, iPad also? I, I'm on my computer. Oh, so. all right. Okay. I was looking it for it. Be. Yeah. Couldn't find. All right. I couldn't find it. I think the iPad is like the phone. You just take your fingers and, you. and open it up and it gets bigger. Yeah, right. That's true. And you can make it 150% or whatever you want. Thank right. you. Oh, terrific. That's great. I love it. Thanks. Except now it's, is it moving on purpose? Or is it my screen? <laughs> Thank you. No, it's me. I was trying to get back. To oh, okay. All right. I just want to make sure it wasn't my screen. Okay. <laughs> my computer. Let's see. I love you guys. I just. Uh, <laughs> I can't get back to the right spot. Huh. I'm gonna Sharon, are we in the, you know, if you're on a triennial? Yeah. Is this the is this the portion that you that you do? This is the triennial portion, yeah, if you're doing it. The, I, the very I, beginning. I think so, but I'm not positive. I, I, I tried to ask my friend that if this was the right Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I can't get I, I kind of thought we were at the end. But um, let me see. The third triennial, you think? I'm, I'm going to look and see. Wait just a minute. Um, Do you have that written somewhere where it would start? Yeah, let me just see. Does everyone know what um, I was talking about by a triennial? <laughs> yeah. But can you you can um, take the time to explain it because I'm not sure that I yeah so a triennial means that they split up the Torah portion into right. three parts and the first year of the cycle they do the first third and then the second year they do the second and the third year the the final portion of it um, so you have to have the toe return to the right spot you know and uh, right. they did that. To shorten it up, I guess, so they don't have to read the whole thing every year. I would be a lot. Why they did it? I don't even know why they did it, but I'm assuming. Does everybody? It's twelve twenty nine. And we're in year we're in year two we're in of year the triennial. Okay. So it begins at at uh, twelve twenty nine. Twelve twenty nine. Um. Twelve twenty nine. Okay. So that means chapter 12, verse 29. So let me see if I can get to that. Do all branches of Judaism do the try? No, I don't think the Orthodox do. Not all conservative, right? Not so so you could actually be on one Torah portion, and then if you were later that same morning go to another synagogue, it could be a different Torah portion, correct? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Our, my congregation where I belong, we, we, we are on the triennial cycle. Yeah, we are too. So thank you, Arlene. So it starts here by Yomer. Okay, everyone sees that? Can you make it bigger on your screen now? It, it's not even on my screen. I don't know what's going it's on today. Half. You're gonna have to just listen, Betty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, now it is. Oh, good. So a lot of the Torah portions begin with Vayomer, that means and said, and it was said. So Vayomar, Alechem, Lo, Ta'artsun, the Lo, Tirun, Mehem, Adonai, Elohechem, Haholech, Lifnechem, Hu, Yilahem, Lachem, the whole, it says a lot of trucks on it. <laughs> the whole, Asher, Asa, Itchem, the Mitraim, Leemechem, Umav, I'm sorry, 
Uvam Nidbar, Asher Raita, Asher Nisaach. I'm sorry, I can't see it either. Nisaacha Adonai Elohecha Kaasher Nisa Ish Et Beno Bechol Haderech Asher Alachtem Ad Boachem Ad Hamakom Hazeh. Okay, so who wants to give the first line a shot? Then did you want to try? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. So just ignore all those little marks. If you don't know what they are, you ignore them. Uh, you're you're uh, muted. Bamar Elo Hem Lit Lit Litta Litar. Okay, so that's low. This underneath here is a trough. I think it's a hard. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Low Taar. I can't. Zoom, zoom, wait, zoom. Is it zoom? Now this is an I under there with a trough. This is hard to do. Okay, below, tier, un, uh -huh. mahem, mayhem. Mayhem, good. Yeah, yeho. That's Adonai. Oh, I, oh, is it? Okay. Oh, so those are all trope marks then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Okay, Adonai. Elo, uh, hey, Elo, Elohem. Is that a ha ho, ha ho, lach, leich, leich, leif, nehem, fu, lachem, lach, lachem, he, ki, ho. Uh, wait, a uh, share, a share, right? All right, a share, wait, wait, a share, right? A share, a a a a hem. Bemi, the meats, ra, raim, the a ne hem. Beautiful. That it's difficult to do, Cindy. That was great. Well, thanks. Yeah. It's hard with all the different marks to know. I know it's hard. Yeah. But and then each of those it shows you how much you know that you can wow. do. That. So it's good. Now the little trope marks each have its own sound. Is each that what it is? Has its own sound. Yeah. And that's how okay. you know how to sing it. So that's yeah. multiple classes later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one with you. I don't know. Oh, so um, I know Haftoa Trup, which is the same exact markings, but they're pronounced differently, even though the, they're the same marks. So I, I don't think there's too much of a stretch, but wow, uh, between the two. Um, Arlene Schwartz, did you, are you raising your hand to try? Yeah, now that I could pinch it and see it, I, I didn't know you could do that. It took all these lessons to, for me to figure out you could pinch it and make it bigger. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm well, shocked. You found that out. Yeah. I just found that out today. So it's U, I don't know if it'll make a difference, but anyway, U, me, uh, bar, right, asher, rai, ta, asher, ni, sa, ach, ach, acha, right, adonai, Elo, he, oh, it just went in. Elo, hecha, ka, asher, yi, sa, yi, sa, ish. Et, b, no, beko, ha, de, re, asher, 
hala halalach adhem ad bo ahem ad ha ma ko kom haser. Wonderful. Nice job. Okay. Great. Thank you. Anybody else have a desire to read? No. Betty, you want to try? No, nope, thank you. No, okay. That's okay. All right. So I guess we're we are finished. Um, the the little video I have, I'm gonna just send to you because it takes about 10 minutes to watch, I think, but you might enjoy it. So, Sharon, um, I wondered, I'm, I'm addressing this to everyone. Um, how could we as a group, you know, I love these women and I wondered how as a group, how is it possible for us to continue on? Like in this, is everyone continuing on? I'm asking them, I don't know, you know, what they'll, if they're gonna be signing up for advanced and we could go as a group and do the next one. I mean, I don't know how Julie would uh, work that or you have input for that, Sharon, or? How does that um, go? So, we're having a meeting the end of August, I know, and they're going to rearrange can you let them out, who's teaching what or whatever. And um, then they're going to send out, like they did last time, a sign up, I guess, for what you feel comfortable with. So, how about it? We could all meet after I you get that information and decide what you're going to do, maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. So I will, I will get you all back on here so we can have a look at each other for the new year anyway. So that'll be nice. So look for, to the, for the information coming on the bullet. And then I'll... Should we, when will that come every, out? When will that be? Because I don't, I don't know that I look at it every week and I could yes, be away in May. I'll be away. Not until the end of the month or even after the holidays. Okay. I'm all sure. right. But I will make sure that does I tell you all to see, make sure that you saw it. How's that? Good. That's I was say, good. Does everybody get Women's League Week? Does everybody get that? I don't get the week. It's called something else. Yeah, it's it comes out once what, every every other week, right, Sharon? I think every other week, yeah. I'm trying every to other week. They went in the summer. Yeah. And it tells you about the upcoming programs. Right. That, that's how I found out about this Hebrew class, I think, or maybe from the bat mitzvah class. But um, they called the newsletter. It just says women's yeah, I forget. conservative Judaism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and every week. I mean, I, a Shabbat message, or I think it's every week. Right. To, yeah, it's every week. Basically. Every week. Oh, then the Shabbat greetings. I think is every other week. Yeah, okay. Maybe. I what Shabbat readings are we? The Women's League Bulletin is one week and the Shabbat message is the following week. They alternate. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever received the Shabbat. Is that the one that's given by the president? Shabbat message or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, it, and they and, rotate. They use, uh, you know, other officers and things like that. Um, oh, okay. But and you, the Macomb. But you have the to. Macomb. <laughs> just, just because that we had a session, a training session the other night about going to the Women's League website. And if you update your own profile, then you can click, there's a box to click so that you get everything that comes from Women's League. Uh, okay. But you can only do that. I mean, I, I, I couldn't do it for you, but you could, you know, and it's, so then you get all the information and then you can opt out of things if you don't want to get everything, so. Oh, good, you um, had a great I've, session, Arlene. <laughs> Presidents, you know, your sister and president should be able to help you if you want to do that, um, to help you sign on to the website. And they also have the uh, Macomb Biakot, um, which I attended a couple of those sessions and I thought that was nice. It's, it's not long, but it's nice. It is very nice. I only went on it's a very nice, months, but I know people are loving doing it. Yeah. It's at noon on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Oh, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You're right, Arlene. Is it at 12 yeah. or 1, Arlene? It's at 12 noon Eastern time, okay. 11 Central time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is that? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon? What is it? 
Um, it's a the Macomb Be on. Be on. Hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> And you study we um the Rabbi Ellen Wollens Fields, who's the executive director of Women's League, she teaches, and another rabbi who's in charge of education for Women's League teaches. Oh. They alternate teaching. And we sing Mishiberach. And if you have a yort site, you're able to do, we do the Mourner's Kaddish. So it's like 30 minutes. And I mean, I've, I've, I, I love it. I love it. I find it great. To... I know they just had a theme, which means they just finished studying a, a, um, a portion. We could have a theme if we were together, we would have we would have refreshments to celebrate, but uh, you did. You all completed this beautifully and consider, you should all pat yourselves oh. on the back because I'm well, Sharon, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you for yeah, all thank your you efforts. Thank you so much. Thank really, you. Thank you. Thank you work, so much. You worked so hard to make the lessons. It's wonderful. Each and every one of them. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you appreciate it. It, it was certainly my oh. And we'll be very much appreciate we'll be sisters forever. And <laughs> thank you. Is there a way What that is? Is this the last class or is there one more? No, this is it. This is it. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm taking a road trip to Maine. <laughs> so uh, we have and friends Cindy. there wow. that never visited. So we're gonna them you are definitely appreciated by all of us thank you <laughs> oh thank you so yeah. much okay cindy cindy what were you gonna say i i didn't know if there was a way we could schedule a time to meet like until the next classes start or is you that for us the classmates yeah like the uh, this group if we could meet like maybe and so before the next class starts yeah, we will definitely. As soon as I get the information, probably the end of August, I'll send an email to all of you and we'll, we'll right. reunite. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Martha. Healthy, healthy summer. Yes. And, um, yes. Well, thank, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy thank you. the trip. Everybody have thank a good you. Shabbos. Everybody mm -hmm. stay well. Substitute yes, grant absolutely. out here. Substitute grant out. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good being with you. See you soon. Bye, everybody.